Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, I welcome you all. We are going to discuss about energy band theory as well as the concept of coal to be used in semiconductor devices. In the video, we have seen that when we are classifying conductor, insulator, and semiconductor, energy gap and their respective values. So here, let us start our discussion with what actually meant by energy band theory is. और उसमें हम सबसे पहले बात करेंगे दैट टर्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट डू मीन बाय द एनर्जी गैप सो एज पर एज एनर्जी गैप इज कंसीडर इट इज जनरली डिनोटेड एज ई जी एंड its values are always in terms of ev that stands for electron volt or we may consider this as unit of energy gap is electron now energy gap is dependent on two basic parameters the first parameter is called as valence band whereas the second parameter is called as conduction band now let us define them one by one what actually mean by valence band and what do we mean by the conduction band so as you know that for every element or for every atom uh, there is a valence sheet or we call it as an outer orbit what we call it as outer orbit ya fir usko hum bol sakte hain valence sheet that consist of इलेक्ट्रॉन्स व्हिच आर कंपैटिबल टू गो फॉर शेयर यानी कि वो या या तो वो आयोनिक बॉन्डिंग फॉर्म कर सकते हैं या फिर दे कैन गो फॉर कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड सो दिस इज एन इंपोर्टेंट टर्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज वैलेंस बैंड सो व्हाटएवर द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर इन द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट दे कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ वैलेंस बैंड नाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय कंडक्शन बैंड दैट इज सो एज वी सीन एज वी आर सीन इन द लास्ट वीडियो Uh, that every pure uh, intrinsic semiconductor, or we call it as intrinsic semiconductors, are they are basically an insulators at zero degree. This point we have seen in case of the semiconductors. So, look. Now, if we take a semiconductor and insulator, सेमीकंडक्टर या फिर कंडक्टर तक ले चला है तो वी नीड फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट कैन सपोर्ट इन द कंडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड दिस फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर अवेलेबल इन अ बैंड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज कंडक्शन सो वी कैन डिफाइन कंडक्शन बैंड एज इट इज अ बैंड व्हिच सपोर्ट्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी व्हिच सपोर्ट्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो दैट बैंड इज कॉल्ड एज conduction band and the, the outermost orbit electrons resides in into valence band now based on these two parameters we can define the energy gap energy gap is nothing but the gap exists between the gap exists between energy sorry conduction band and valence band is basically called as the energy gap how will you define it as as far as the schematic is considered we can draw two segregation lines let's suppose this is uh, here we have uh, the free electrons so this particular band is called as conduction band and it has energy that is called as conduction energy and whatever the electrons or poles are there those who are in the outermost orbit this term is called as valence band so this is going to be our conduction band and this is called as our valence band okay and this particular area that is the gap between the gap between conduction band and valence band is called as energy gap usko hum define karte hain symbolically energy Now, mathematically अगर हम इसको डिफाइन करेंगे तो ई जी का फॉर्मूला हम लिख सकते हैं ई जी इज इक्वल टू ई सी माइनस ई बी इट 
EC minus EB. This is a mathematical representation of energy. अब हमने last video में ये देखा था कि हर एक material का energy क्या पहले लिखा था. Like if we have conductor, so for conductor the value of energy gap was nearly zero electron. That means there are nothing like energy gap between conduction and valence. अब देखिए अगर ये energy gap का value पूरी तरह से zero हो गया तो valence band से electrons easily shift हो जाएगी conduction band. तो without applying any temperature we can uh, we can go for free electrons and because of that these materials are called as conductor. अब अगर हम बात करते हैं सेकेंड मटेरियल की दैट वॉज इंसुलेटर तो इंसुलेटर का जो एनर्जी कैप था वो नियरली था सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट मीन्स द एनर्जी कैप वॉज मोर इन केस ऑफ इंसुलेटर अब देखिए अगर एनर्जी कैप ज्यादा रहेगा तो मोर एनर्जी लगेगा बैलेंस बैंड को फ्री करने के लिए और उसको कंडक्शन बैंड में ले जाए एंड एज मोर एनर्जी इज रिक्वाइर्ड दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी हेज बिन स्पेंड एंड Hence, those materials are basically called as the ends. Whereas we have the third one, which is called as semiconductor. Or, uska jo energy gap tha, wo moderate tha, and it was around 1.21 electron volt for silicon and 0.75 electron volt for germanium. So, actually, the values are greater than conductor, but less than insulator. so this is how we can define the energy gap i hope you understood this concept this is a most important concept as far as the semiconducting devices are concerned okay so uh, ab dekhiye ek simple sa example humne dekha tha ki uh, you know pure semiconductors they are nothing but intrinsic semiconductors usko humne n type mein bhi convert kiya tha aur usko humne convert kiya tha p type semiconductor देखिए जिस तरह से हम इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को एनर्जाइज करेंगे तो वो कंडक्शन बैंड से फ्री होके वैलेंस बैंड सॉरी वैलेंस बैंड से फ्री होके हो जाएगी कंडक्शन बैंड एंड वट एवर द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और होल्स आर देयर इन द कंडक्शन बैंड दे सपोर्ट्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो दिस इज अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एनर्जी नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज होल्स and electrons okay now we are familiar with electrons that electrons are negatively charged and they have a charge of 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 so what about holes holes are nothing but holes are nothing but positively charged ions they are called as what positively charged ions basically they are imaginary what is it they are imaginary but as per as theoretical concepts are considered we have to treat holes as the charge carriers so we have both holes as well as electrons as the charge carriers okay now symbolic here we talk about the electrons from the dikhate hain which is tarah se e minus ya fir is tarah se bhi dikha sakte ho a circle with minus so this is a symbolic representation of it. but when i come across hole or holes they are simply denoted as a circle with positive charge a circle with positive charge are holes and the circle with negative charge is called as helicon remember holes and helicons are quite important as per as the discussion of diodes are concerned jo hamara next segment hoga usme hum diode ke liye baat karenge aur usme hame repeatedly Holes, electrons, holes, electron को occupy करना पड़ता है. So this is about our second point that is called as holes and electrons. Now we'll move on to the next point of discussion that is again a few point from conductor and your some points from cell. Now we are seeing their definitions. What is conductor? What is semiconductor? So as far as conductor is considered, the point of discussion was quite important. Conductors are basically called as unipolar. They are called as unipolar. Now why they are called as unipolar? Because 
in case of conductors whatever the electricity conduction takes place it takes place due to only one charge carrier and that one charge carrier will definitely be our and is that as it has only one charge carrier conductors are also called as unipolar whereas in case of semiconductor they are called as bipolar they are called as bipolar now why semiconductors are called as bipolar because here we have both charge carriers that is electrons and holes. remember again an important point semiconductors are also treated as bipolar why because here conduction takes place due to both electrons as well as holes that is minus and plus so this is an important point of discussion from conductor and from say okay i hope you understood this concept in next video we are going to discuss about framing of atoms so don't miss that lecture also and just go through the these three videos uh, they are the basic videos whose concepts can be used for the future thank you very much